what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining, that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet violet lining the lamplight gloating o'er she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then methought the air grew denser, perfumed from some unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God at the lengthy, by these angels he hath sent thee, respite, respite, and nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore.